Hey guys, I'm out here about to take a little walk. So I'll update you guys when I find the first herp. Check out this chunk of a salamander. This is a northern spring salamander that I just flipped underneath this rock here. That's pretty cool. I don't get to see these guys that often and it's not because they're uncommon around here. I just don't tend to see them that often. But this guy's pretty big. Um, they get a little bit bigger than this. I've seen them bigger than this before. Well, that's pretty cool. That's definitely an uh, adult. That's neat. That's so cool. Definitely nice coloration on this guy. Kind of like a salmon pink coloration. They have that big paddle-like tail, so you can tell they're really an aquatic salamander species. That's neat though. I'm gonna grab some photos of this one and put him back underneath his rock and we're gonna keep on herping. All right, here's the next salamander of the day. This is a Northern Dusky. I don't think I've shown you guys this one yet. Uh, out of the Desmog species we have here, in Western Maryland. This one is definitely the least common, but probably the most common species we have in the entire state. Uh, the other two species just don't make it downstate, um, but they're pretty common up here since they're mountain species. That's pretty cool though. Uh, good to find this guy. This is probably the first one I've actually seen this year, uh, which is actually really surprising. But I'm going to move the rock back to where she was and probably let her go right back underneath of it. Salamander of the day is this goofy looking eastern redback salamander. As you guys can tell, that is definitely not a redback. That's definitely more of a yellowish back on him. It almost looks like a uh, cheat mountain salamander, which are nowhere near us. They're just over the border in West Virginia. That's cool, that's an interesting looking red back. But I'm gonna move his rock back and put him back under it. So here's a triple flip that I just had. I think these, they look like all northern dusky salamanders. That one on the left is really different color. It's more yellowish. That's neat, that's a chunk of a one right there. Cool, I'm gonna probably move these guys out so I don't squish them underneath the rock and then I'm gonna put the rock back and let them go back under. Let's flip this tiny little baby decays brown snake. Man, he's small. He's cute too. That's neat. I just flipped him underneath the rock that's in this fire pit. It's cool. It's baby season right now. I've been starting to see a lot more baby snakes out and about. Which is awesome. Look how small that dude is. Neat. I'm going to take some photos of this guy and we're going to keep on herping today. Oh, look at there. That's a bigger brown snake. Look at that dude. He just skunked me pretty good. That was much bigger than that little baby. Nice. Well, I think I found the brown snake spot. And these, I feel like these snakes are underappreciated since they're not very colorful at all, but these snakes are neat to me. Cool, I'm gonna take some photos of this guy as well and put him right back underneath his rock. All right guys, just cruise this snapping turtle. I think he might actually have gotten hit, but I'm gonna help it across the road. It seems to be doing all right. Um, gonna put it in a pond that's next to the road and hopefully she'll be all right. Hey guys, back at the house now. 
decided to flip some of my new snake garden boards and here is the first snake that I was able to produce. I'd have to check but I think we built this snake garden maybe three weeks ago um, and we already got the first snake under them which is awesome. Uh, actually a lot earlier than I thought I was going to get a snake under these boards. That's neat though. I'm going to let this guy go and this will probably be the end of the video so if you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe.